Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. Hey, pal, you need to fill up? Full tank, please. Sure thing, pal. Sorry about the prices, but gas keeps going up. It's tough times all around, you know? Here you are. Thank you. See ya! Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. But when Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happened. Alright, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back work at the peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about we'll yesterday? See you in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! What? You think I'm running some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why's everything gotta be so fucking complicated with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light bulb. Look, don't worry, I thought of everything. 
I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. Hey, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, hey, he's a piece of work, ain't he? he? Give you a job? Yeah. I worked some guys over. It was small time. Some idiot just drove into us. He takes down these hard dock workers just like he did my old man. Copy that. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. Quit whining and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats. automobile uses precious gasoline and rubber that our troops desperately need. Instead of driving, whatever you need, I got. Is that all you need? That should work for you. That should work for you. Do you want to make a fire? This is what you need. Goodbye, Vito. You're my best customer. How can I help you? All right, I'll see you then. Got an aversion to red lights? Isn't that bad? You're worse than abroad.
Watch where you're going! What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it! Ryan fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? Yeah, you're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you better hand yeah, over yeah, everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss my the ass. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what about the cops? I'm trying! Get the goddamn jury! Shit! Cops! Watch my ass while I open his door. Keep those assholes off my back! Pull him off just a little longer. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. Freeze! Police! There's no way out! Another dead end. We gotta go this way, it's our only shot. Come on, if you don't move your ass. What are you fucking crazy? It's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. We have no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Shit! 
Keep those assholes off my back! Almost got it! Hold them off just a little longer! Come on, you piece of shit! Open up! Okay, got it! We're out of here! Vito, come on! Freeze! Police! There's no way out! Nice. One slip and we're dead. We have no choice. I ain't going to the drink. your ass over here. You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! Shit. Jesus, be careful. Almost lost it. Here. Yeah, I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. This way. This should take us to the street. Henry's never gonna believe this. This stupid bastards. Let's go. Fuck off, copper! 
Look at the Irish my hands. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick Bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. If you like what you see, let me know. Here you go. Enjoy. Two 
Every weapon is legit, I can guarantee it. I loaded these myself in the back. on our news desk, ladies and gentlemen. But we have a breaking news. Bye-bye. Come back again. Excuse me. Hey there, handsome. Uh... Hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you had passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. Where you belong. Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smoke. 
smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal. Knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like hey, to talk to you doing, and Joe. Mr. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salud. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if yous are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. But you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand apiece. <coughs> That's a fucking fortune! Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well... Somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. 
I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up and then boom, we blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG42. Uh, where are we getting an MG42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. I'll see you around. Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Okay, come in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah, you got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds, 7.92 caliber, 1,200 rounds per minute, fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Wait, wait. Where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? 
Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic neither, but... When I was crawling over the fence on the way back, I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Bye, Vito. It's me, Vito. Come on in. Hey, don't forget the ammo, too, huh? Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Whoa! You're turning into my number one customer. 